Deidre Huey with Action Rider Tack, and I'm back again with Elizabeth Lorino, who's actually going to answer one of the questions that one of you sent in. This question is from Michael Beasley. Thank you so much for sending your question. I wish to ask a question of Elizabeth. I find that many riders suffering back pain do so because of hollowing of the back. This is, as you know, or this, as you know, will shorten the erector spinae. Yes, spinae. Okay. Erector spinae. spinae. The psoas. The psoas. Psoas and hamstrings. See, I don't even know what some of these words are, but evidently Michael does. I cannot see how stretching backwards over a ball will help. Please give me your perspective. I have always advised and myself followed a forwards bend with exhaling and further stretch via yoga to alleviate these tensions and reset the proprioceptive mechanism. Great. Right? Proprioception, yes. <laughs> okay. Would appreciate your answer. So let me put this down. Yes. And uh, do you want to hang on to that? Sure, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Michael, let's talk about, you're talking about several different issues in one stretch. Okay. okay. So there is no just one stretch for those three muscles and your hamstrings, your psoas, and your back extension, your back extensors, and also known as erector spinae, that's a Latin term okay. for your back extensors, um, they, are, they can work in conjunction together, but they're also separate muscles, okay? Now, stretching out your hamstrings is not going to be effective over an exercise ball. Okay. You are, Michael, doing the right thing for your erector spinae by bending forward if they are too tight, if you've been hollowing your back, if you've been holding your back too tight and you need to stretch forward and stretch your hamstrings, that is the appropriate stretch. However, that is not the appropriate stretch for your psoas. Your psoas muscles will be stretched in the opposite direction, and which is why I talk about stretching over the exercise ball, okay? So when you're stretching over the exercise ball, it, it allows you to stretch out your entire core, okay? So when you're stretching over the exercise ball, you're actually, your back extensor, extensors and, or your erector spinae are actually going together, working together. And so they are actually functioning properly, okay? So you want to stretch them so that you do the opposing motion. So you, you, do, you do forward stretches for your erector spinae and forward stretches for your hamstrings, but when you go forward, you are shortening your psoas muscles, okay? So when you lay over the exercise ball, you're able to stretch your, your, your hip muscles, and that's why I talk about stretching over the exercise ball. So Michael, you are doing the right thing, but just make sure for your psoas muscles, you want to lay over that exercise ball to get the appropriate stretch. And that is better than any runner stretch. If you stretch out your quads, your psoas muscles, those are hip flexors. So they are the opposing muscles to your hamstring. So you want to make sure that you do the opposite stretch, okay, if you understand that. And if you have further questions about that, please contact me at massagewellnesslife.com and I would be happy to answer your question further. Um, and the other thing, the other term, proprioception, that's a great term, it's where you are in space. And yoga and stretching on the exercise ball, they are all great mechanisms for resetting your proprioception. Wow, great. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you answering that question sure. for me. And please, if you have any question to ask Elizabeth, send it to me, Deidre at actionridertack.com, and we'll make sure we get Elizabeth on the video to answer your question Absolutely. or demonstrate, or I will demonstrate, an exercise to help you with your next ride. Until next time, be one with your horse. Take care.